All right, so that's another Guild Wars. Um, I, this is a combination of, of taking a little longer than, than usual, and as well as like, um, the fact that we, we were just basically stomping them out since the beginning, since like we came right out of the gate, just destroying this guild. Um, so it's not. I wasn't too interested. I'm usually more interested in like. Like if I'm needed here, then you know I'll come in and, and try to help out. But like, in this case, I just tend to tend to put it off, considering it's not that big a deal. Uh, some of these teams are just kind of annoying. Not very good. Let's go kill this one here. Why not? Uh, okay, let's do. Uh, I guess I'll put you here. Um, let's put you here. Uh, you here. Uh, let's see. I have to think about what to put there. Um, but yeah, so this up here, I want to put you here I think they should be good I was gonna put CC here but I think I'm just gonna leave that there and leave CC down here um, another thing I'm worried about is not having enough damage down here so I think I'm going to let's see what to do what to do what to do I think I might do this. Uh, I don't know how hard this Corvus is going to hit. I mean, nobody builds them weak enough to just not do a lot of damage, but I don't know if I can tank him with uh, Ruel. Other than that, I think this is fine. Let's just go in there. Why not? I think... The only problem is I'm probably just going to lose someone to the Dark Corvus down there. But I think if you see a lot of my uh, Guild War videos, I don't use... Um, like S10A, I don't use her a lot, so if I lose her there or something like that, or just the units down there aren't going to be huge losses if I end up, if they end up dying. Uh, do I want S3 here? Yeah, why not? I'm getting tired of this is gonna really suck when. Um... Okay, so I'm gonna get the counter one and two. Oh balls! So the thing I was most concerned about is the um, Charles S2. See so how much damage this does. So his turn is over with. Uh, this S3 is going to hit. Let's see how much damage this does. Not a whole lot. And let's see what this S3 does. <laughs> defense break. Uh, defense buff is one hell of a. One hell of a buff there. Makes a really big difference. Um, so when he countered her, it was off the regular counter. I don't. I st I'm not even sure he even has uh, the counter. Uh, the what's it called set? The uh, Elber Sword. Um, yeah. So this is again. This is fine. We're just gonna nuke him with. Uh, okay, so he does have the Elber. It's very interesting. So the only time I've ever concerned is usually him dying here. Uh, let's do this. So I think at this point we're all healed up enough to not worry about dying. Okay, cool. So this first team was uh, pretty much as expected. 
I think, uh, let's see how this goes. That's a fast... Uh, that's a fast guy there. Um, let's see, he is just gonna S3, which is fine. Ooh, very nice. Oh, she doesn't have defense buff, so I'm just gonna focus her. Um, I could S three here, but I guess I'm just I'm just, I think I'm just gonna focus her. Come on, Charles. Thank you. Okay, so she's gonna S2, which is fine. He's got like 19,000 HP, I think. I didn't catch that. I was too busy paying attention to something else. Um, yes, yeah, so let's hit her. Fifteen K HP, that's kinda weird. So I think he's just gonna die here. Oh I, of course it didn't crit. Come on. Thank you. So he's dead. This char this um What's his name? Crow doesn't have like a revival thing, um or it doesn't have Aureus or anything like that, it's kinda weird. Um so let's just this seems is very strange. Um, I, I might be just like thinking too hard about it. Like, it might just be a simple fact of like they're they don't seem this this guild doesn't seem very strong, so it's not like a big deal. But you never really want to go in underestimating people. Twenty thousand HP. Uh, I think what's gonna end up being the case is he's gonna end up having uh, what's it called? The revival artifact. Uh, this this Angelica is getting on my nerves. The S2 just full heals her. It's pretty irritating. Does she have a lot of resistance? Sometimes they don't, but it doesn't really matter because she's already starting to get on my nerves with this S3. Um, I'm gonna have to wait for that to fall off and then try to S2 her, or S3 her with uh, Tenebria. I think I'm just gonna keep burning this. Uh, ideally, I probably want to save this for um, burning S10As, but I should do a decent amount of damage here, so 9,000. One into S2. So hopefully she focuses Crow here with the heal. Okay, cool. So now Crow is out of danger zone, and um, actually she, he might just fall back in right now. Uh, the question here, I think I'm just going to hit her with this. Uh, Char it couldn't have been Charles with dual attacks there. Okay, so that immunity is off, so I think I'm just going to hit you here. Uh, I, I don't know, she might outspeed. Tinebri, okay, she didn't. Okay, so even if this doesn't um, stun her, it should kill her as long as I crit seven. So I did stun her. Yeah, she, people don't really build a lot of um, effect resistance. Uh, this is a counter crow. That's that's a new one. That's not one I've ever seen before. Uh, so he's gonna S three. His S three isn't gonna hit that hard. See how much damage I take. 
Ooh, it actually killed her. Um, but he should be dead anyways, that's fine. Uh, kind of sucks to lose my uh, Ruel that early on, but um, I think uh, if you've seen my other videos, I do complain about her a lot, so she's not as vital to like going forward. Um, let's do this. Ooh, the poison almost killed him. Uh, then this, he just did. The Holy Sacrifice Crow. I think the idea of a Holy Sacrifice Crow is kind of like... I don't know, it sort of has like a cascading effect when it comes to decision making. Okay, so that one, I hit that one. Is it dead? Well, it has zero. Oh, this building is still here. Uh, this building looks pretty easy. Uh, do I want to hit these people? I think I do. Take this team up there. Um, tired of getting hit by, tired of fighting crowds all day. Uh, so let's see what else we've got more interesting. Basar. <clears throat> looks like an, this interesting. This looks like an interesting team to take. Um, Melzorado into. Uh, let's go back here. Just see about this guy. Um. Oh, well, my team. We lost two attacks to him. Uh, so let's do this. Let's do. Where is? Here you are. Do you and we'll do you? Um, this is really a bad decision, but I, I was like, whatever, let's just do it. Um, Crow is pretty annoying down here, so I'm keeping you there. Uh, down here, I think what I'm gonna do is run nothing, none of this. I think I'm just gonna put you. I really want a healer down here. Yeah, I guess. I mean, let's just do that. Again, to give or take whether or not Crow will kill somebody. Okay, so I got first turn. Oh, this is bad. I mean, okay, like I knew the whole crit thing versus. Um, ML Ken was dumb, right? Because you don't want to crit him. Um, but what I'm referring to more, let's see, is like, these two were just going to focus on these two, and I was just going to soul burn to kill him. Which should kill him, I think. Yeah, I think it will. Um, but the the thing was that I forgot, like, he was going to get the, the uh, crit chance buff, and then he can't just, like, hit anybody. Yeah, that was the main concern I had. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit, let's see if I hit her. I'm just gonna hit you. Four thousand. See what this does. Oh, did I not crit? Okay. She's dead. Yeah, so this isn't gonna do very much. Oh, I, I, yeah, that's a lot of damage. Um. No, oh, I don't want to silver in this. Just gonna hit her there. Okay, let's still burn this and see what I can do here. Nice. Okay. So basically, any fears I have are uh, assuaged by that.
in this case, yeah, I don't know. We'll see what, how this goes. Um, I'm not too concerned with losing Yufin. Um, I don't use her very much, so just kind of have her sitting here. Four thousand. Uh, she's actually. Okay. Oh, you can't see it from. Yeah. Well, I guess you can see these from here. She has no mola in India in either of these two. Um. Which is why it was kind of like it's kind of risky to a large degree to be doing that uh, in that scenario. But you know, the soul burn is just so ridiculous that um, there's no big deal. I think this should kill even on a miss, and I didn't miss. Permanent still. Uh, so hopefully she resists. I don't, yeah, they don't particularly do build. So he's just dead, I think. Oh, he didn't die. Very interesting. Um, let's just do this. I think I'm just going to S3 Oxlots with her. Um, because. So she should resist. Okay. Oh, she might just kill her. She didn't crit, so I guess that was lucky from my end. Uh, let's hit uh, you. Actually, I'm gonna hit. Yeah, I'm gonna hit her. Um, Charles is S3. Hopefully, kills. Okay, so this is the this is the time I needed to to do this because uh, otherwise, um, she would put immunity up and I wouldn't be able to stun her. So. Ooh, I just barely missed you, dude. Okay. Well, that's how that goes. Uh, so let's just heal, just to make sure we're all topped off. Uh, I'm gonna hit you. Okay, they both die, which is very nice. Uh, I have no choice but to do this. Oh, I could've asked two there, which still turned out fine regardless. Uh, so again, he might kill someone here. I'm not too concerned about it. I think he, this one's on Holy Sacrifice too, which is kind of annoying. Okay, put him to sleep. <laughs> Oof. Okay. I think he's gonna hit her. She's got 19,000 HP, so she should survive this. Yeah. Uh, she's got a little less health than I think she should be for what she has. Yeah, she has 19, he did like 15, and somehow it ended up doing, um, like way more than that, like, what? No, yeah, no, I think that, uh, yeah, I should have 5,000, so 2,500 HP went somewhere, but that's fine. Let's just heal for heal's sake. Um, so yeah, Ten Tenebria's uh, her inability to be targeted. Um, obviously, I mean, no one, no one would ever say it's not. It wasn't useful, but it's just every so often it does come up to be very important. Uh, and then he should be dead. Let's just hit him with the S3 just for the style points. Okay, now let's see. What's your team? Seros? What's your team look like? Oof, this team looks like cancer. Uh, the second team doesn't look very interesting either. Um, I might just take that team over there. Oh my gosh, I'm just so tired. He's got debuffs, he doesn't. She only has debuffs on the S3. Still, that doesn't look like a very good team to go into. Mm. 
What are you running here? This looks pretty interesting. Let's go with... Um, so I want someone who... So I think I'm just going to go with this here. You there, you there, and lastly... Uh, you here. This looks good. Um, down here... S1 debuff, S1 debuff. So I think I'm just, yeah, I think I'm gonna run with her. Uh, where is, there you are. Uh, the bigger, the biggest problem I have here is probably not gonna have enough damage to kill um, a Momo here. Uh, in which case, hmm. I might just have to bring um, Euphine. Yeah, I think Euphine will be able to kill her. Uh, this this looks fine to me. Uh, let's see here. What do I have? Yeah, Tenebra has good. De she has decent damage, but doesn't have a whole lot of one shot potential. She has like over time damage. Um, and overtime damage is useful when you have, like, for one, attack buff, right? And for two, um, you have decent speed. Like, if a Momo can outspeed her, if she can outspeed her handily, um, then obviously she can just heal up any damage you're doing. So I think I'm just going to go with this. Uh, this is up here. This is fine. So hopefully uh she'll s3 and then the shield and everything hopefully everything i have here can keep her from dying and then she's just gonna s3 her and kill her uh that's the plan anyway uh this uh this ken worries me though uh, okay Do this let's get this uh defense buff up uh let's put you Put you back. I want this debuff up, the, the defense buff up as late as possible. Uh, let's hit them with this. See if this is a counter dizzy. Okay, so she didn't counter, but it doesn't mean she isn't a counter dizzy. She's tanky enough to be a counter dizzy though. Okay, and she doesn't have Viella's. Okay, let's see how much damage this is going to do. Yeah. Oh, it's so weird. Everybody's in Japanese and then uh, Raz over here is in English. Okay, so uh, I'm just going to kill you. I'm just going to hit you. I think I'm just going to hit... I think I'm just going to ask three um, Dizzy over here. To not have to deal with her anymore. Should hit for 7,000. I think she's got about that much HP left. So about 6 plus 2 here. Okay, and then he should be dead. Okay, cool. Okay, this is very interesting. Speed tuning. See, this is what I meant was um, uh, this. Oh wow, 19k. Let's hit you just to give that. Well, I mean, I'm gonna do this regardless. Let's do this. Oh, that was a mistake because I think. Well, hopefully she comes back around. Okay, so let's do. Do this. Okay, she might. I don't think she's gonna die. Actually, yeah, the attack buff is vital there. Um, so I was gonna do S two, but I don't know how much damage this is gonna do. The S two is gonna do there, so I didn't want to risk it. Um, 
the S2, the S3 is out of the way, so defense, defense buff isn't the biggest deal. Um, let's see what this does. Okay, cool. It's always interesting to me that uh, Yufin has a self attack buff, but like, you can never use the self attack buff before the S3. Um, just by the inherent nature of the way she is. Um, especially just because, well, I mean, not always. A lot of times you can, but a lot of times people are running like. It's rare that they won't be running something like a uh, Charles or a. Um, uh, like, a lot of times you also bring her into. What's it called? S uh, Seaside. Uh, and Seaside obviously benefits from you AoE attacking her. Uh, but what else? Like, like or Charles, like in this situation, you can't S2. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do now is I'm going to S2. Hopefully he doesn't just like... <sighs> no, I think I'm just going to wait. I'm going to wait in the S2. I'm going to wait in the S2 uh, until I have this here, so... So I'm gonna hit him. I'm gonna hit him with this, right? So now I can S2 with Yufin, and he'll counter Yufin, right? It won't be that big a deal. Uh, how's his S3 looking? Okay, so I'm, I'm gonna wait on this S3 here. Let's put you to sleep, maybe. No. Ah, oh, my gosh. Well, the main thing I need from this isn't necessarily the damage. It's more. Um, it's more the attack buff. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna, and she, oh, that's right, she clears it. Um, let's just do this. Why not? Stop uh, being a bitch about it. Okay, so she survived, which is good. Uh, okay, let's see. What was I doing here? Uh, yeah, I had to go uh, do something, um, but. Let's us through you just to make sure you're um, healed and whatnot. Uh, so if this doesn't kill him, I'm basically gonna die. Seventeen. So there we go. I really do need to upgrade her uh, S1, especially because I have the uh, exclusive equipment on her that gives her. Uh, more damage on the S1, so th those those multipliers should just multiply each other. But I don't, like the problem is I don't use Yufin enough to like justify burning Mola on her. Um, well, there you go. That's uh, three for three this time, but it's not that big an accomplishment given the uh, guild we fought against. Um, but uh, yeah, that's that's it for today.